I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com, and like I said in the unboxing, I am very excited about the HTC One. I think it represents a great step forward for the company with a beautiful build quality, killer specifications, and availability on multiple carriers when it comes to the US. You know what I do in PhoneDog land when there's a device I really like? I put it in for a 30-day challenge. So that's exactly what I'm doing right here. It's a 30-day challenge of the HTC One, and it kicks off right now. I'm really looking forward to doing a 30-day challenge with the HTC One, more than I have with any device in recent memory, and I'll tell you a couple of reasons why. Number one, I'm really excited. I love the build quality of this device. This is a device that's for Android users that want a device like the iPhone 5, but they've had trouble finding it to date. And sure, the Nexus 4 is a beautiful device, and the Xperia Z is a beautiful device, but when this comes to the US, it's coming to three carriers, AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile. It's backed by HTC's brand, which is known for build quality, known for awesomeness or awesome sauce, if you want to say. And it's known for its availability on multiple carriers in recent memory. So HTC is a known brand name in the U.S. I hope to see carriers and consumers adopt the actual brand and pick it up as a viable device alternative to the Galaxy Note 2, the Galaxy S3, the other HTC devices on the market, the Motorola Droid devices, and more. Number two, with the exception of the 30-day challenges, I've been using the Galaxy Note 2 as my daily driver for the past couple of months, since December. So about three months, almost four months, I've been using the Galaxy Note 2 as my daily driver. That said, it's got a big 3,100 milliamp hour battery. I'm curious two things. One, if after working with TouchWiz for as long as I have, but because before I used the Note 2, I used the Galaxy S3 for six months, barring any 30-day challenges. And even with 30-day challenges, I was still working with that as a secondary device. I've been using TouchWiz for a while. It's time to shift it up and use Sense 5 and take a look at uh, HTC's latest version of Sense and see how it compares to Samsung's TouchWiz. There's a lot to like here. Blink feed is installed. HTC Zoe is certainly something we're going to test in the 30-day challenge and more. So I'm really excited about a lot of the features of this device. Test the ultra pixels, test the Zoe stuff, test the build quality, test the overall speed and really see a couple of things. Can the battery life withhold with 2300 milliamp hours? Can the device hold its own in comparison to other devices in the market? Those kind of things are what I'm looking forward to finding out in the 30-day challenge. Now, it's always hard for the first couple of days. For the first few days, you'll probably hear me say things like, oh, man, I wish I could go back to TouchWiz or I wish I could go back to some other device alternative. But you know what? Once you get past a certain few days, and this is why we do the 30-day challenge stuff, once you get past those initial few days of setup, I find that you can really dive in and it's something you don't get a chance to do when you do reviews because usually you have to flip a review around so quickly that it's challenging to get a real feel of a device. So 30 days with the HTC One, it's definitely earned it, it's definitely worth it, and with new features like Blink Feed, Zoe, and more, I'm excited to put this to the test for one full month and see how it does. Let me know what you want to see in the 30-day challenge at PhoneDog underscore Aaron on Twitter, Facebook, facebook.com slash hi Aaron Baker, and on Google Plus at gplus.to slash PhoneDog. I'm off to go put it in and start it up and do my 30-day challenge. So stay tuned for new video updates every few days. I'll see you next time.